Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this video of advanced uh, UCCE advanced scripting, I'm going to look at the administrative script. Now, administrative scripts uh, execute period periodically or on a specific time schedules rather than in response to a route request. Now, admin scripts are constantly running behind the screen whereas uh, routing scripts are only invoked when there is a call coming in. Administrative script can perform background processing tasks such as setting a persistence variable value or uh, checking a database um, for you know whether this office is open or not etc. You can you can use admin script for follow the sun routing, holiday schedules, peak period routing, outbound, emergency check, anything that you can imagine now in this example there are a few examples I'm going to, three examples that I'm going to show you one a first one is going to be called the persistence um, use uh, variable where we're going to use an administrative script to set a very a value to a variable that will be stored in a database so that routing script can constantly check the value of that uh, variable to make a determination as to what to do with the call now this is like for example if uh, if you want the routing script to determine if office is open or close now obviously the difference between constantly checking that option in um, routing script you run an admin script to ensure that that value is set to on or off based on the time because the routing script every time you execute that script is going to do that same check that is not necess necessary like why do you doesn't make if you're writing a script execute ten thousand time, it really doesn't make a, 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 an efficient program if it has to check if your office is open or not ten thousand time because you know that nine o'clock your office is going to open at five p.m. your office is going to be closed. So here is an example of creating a user variable called user open, and then we're going to check this option called. Uh, web or uh, persistence and uh, you can check this option little uh, check mark that's persistence value so that means whatever the value that you assign to this variable the user open will be stored in a database until it gets overwritten now a typical variable does not store any data uh, in the database uh, so with the persistence variable it does do, do, the, do that so the purpose of storing the value so that